So a year and a half ago, I get a call from a friend of mine who said she was dating this new guy. She invited me to his barbecue, and this, this guy's name is Bill Bell, a Canadian music producer, and he'd worked with Jason in the past. <laughs> Uh, I did meet her at a barbecue, at my, my barbecue, and, uh, and she came over and we started jamming. And I thought her energy was fantastic and her playing was great. We never communicated again until a year later. I get a message saying that he had since been made musical director of Jason Mraz's band for this tour. And it's funny that when, when Jason talked about maybe having uh, a girl in the band, she immediately popped in my mind because I really loved her. Her voice and the fact that she played mandolin and violin was um, was just obviously an added bonus, and Jason loved that as well. And so uh, totally worked out. I play um, two violins. Uh, they're both realists, which are acoustic electric hybrids, and I have them tuned slightly differently from one another. I used to play classical as a kid, but. Um, when I got out of college, I started doing a lot more playing in just bands and with friends and sort of more open tuning. So I keep one in standard, and then I have one that's a half step up. So if he wants to call, you know, some key that you know, an unfriendly violin key, I have that option of playing it on a on a my second fiddle. I played Mando on Woman I Love and on Living in the Moment. Fourthly, sometimes I play the tambourine. <laughs> There's a few songs that called for it early on before Mona was on this leg, and Jason gave me a quick tambo lesson. Always make sure your clackers, that's the official, that's the scientific term, are. So we like to all kind of move around on stage during the show and mix up our mic positions, just because it's more interesting for the audience. So when we do Lucky, Jason, goes on the far left side of the stage and I end up over there. Boy, I hear you in my dreams. We're not allowed to step on the carpet. Don't step on it. You make it easier when life gets hard. And then I get to be like, what's up? To this side of the crowd, which is fun. Oh yeah. <laughs> we used to do lucky center stage with each other and in Korea one night he's like, during our solo section, he's like, walk back. He whispers at that stage. I'm like, okay. And I walked backwards, and he started walking in tandem with me. And people went like, ah, like people all went crazy. And so it, it triggered this idea on his part, like we should just formally do a dance. Let's, and let's do it and be honest and make a, make a little soft shoe out of it. And we just Ooh. got on YouTube and we're calling up old videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bob. Ooh. They are covering some ground. We figured that would probably be above our skill level, so we went with like senior center, you know, talent shows <laughs> night and found more basic steps. So. <laughs> okay. Stay <laughs> here for a second. All right. Jason grew up as I don't know if you know the term triple threat, but Jason was a show. Like all things showbiz as a kid. Okay, hang on. Yeah, let's see. We gotta do something interesting. I'm pretty sure that included tap lessons, ballet, lots of singing, acting, and magic. Five, six, seven, eight. Who we are when love is what it wants to be. We are free and we are having the best day ever by far. Being treated to the light like a superstar.
Hannah's dance was an interesting window into Jason's performance sensibilities, though. It was, in a way. Like, even, like, the stealing the fedora thing is... It's a very, like, cheeky maneuver, you know? And Jason came up with that. That's, like, classic Jason Mraz maneuver. Okay, watch your positioning there. So on this one, I want you to sing it with your left hand, okay. because otherwise you end up with this arm in my back. Yeah. And that way you can stay open the, to the, me. Get the judges to deduct. Yeah, this yeah. will point you out. Just... Hold my guitar. I'm gonna be you for a second. That frees up your right hand. Yeah. If for the end of the song. Right. You just want to throw it on before the last bow. That'd be shit. Yeah. Just yeah. Yes, yeah. we are. Oh, my God.